Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today we'll be talking about the Blazing Sunshine Summer Training Campaign for Global Dokkan. Of course, this is the final Dokkan Fest, the final campaign before JP and Global share their worldwide celebration, which at this point has been established that it is going to be Cooler and Goku. So I think for all intents and purposes, this would be a very interesting celebration on many different accounts. Number one, is Global going to replace or I suppose engineer some filler banner to, you know, take the place of LR Goku and Piccolo's banner because remember they came out for JP during this celebration but Global got it earlier and then number two is AGL Turles is easy kind of linking uh the World War celebration to this celebration right because like AGL Turles right now we'll get on to him in a second but he's going to easy within the celebration at least I think um no sorry not I think I know I've pulled up the tab I don't know why I said I think but he actually right now is in a bit of a weird spot because the movie boss's team is fine but he himself you know he's lacking uh, in terms of linking partners now if they drop like a 200 percent final form cooler who's akin to i don't know the lr fusion zamasu in power like things could get out of hand for the movie bosses team very quickly because that team it's got a, a decent base they're just lacking 200 percent and a few really powerful top heavy options so let's take a look at the celebration in detail so we have the summer training login bonus from the tuesday to the thursday the 25th to the 9th 17 dragon stones we have some summer training missions. I mean, I don't really think I... I don't really think we need to look at this, right? Because typically when I'm looking at missions, it's because I'm on JP. And uh, no one can read kanji. So, uh, again, for the missions, you just hop into your own mission section. All right, here we are. The Dokkan Festival is on. I mean, this has been on for, what, like two days now? A day? Uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. This You should have been skipping anyway. Like, unless you're a huge Raditz fan, you really should not be summoning on this banner. And even if you're a Raditz fan, I want you guys to know that he's mid. Um, and you know what's coming for Worldwide at this point. You know it's going to be a Super Saiyan Goku or, or some Goku from that film, uh, as well as Final Form Cooler. Again, the banner isn't terribly bad, considering how bad this guy is, right? Because, like, these three are pretty good. I mean, these four are pretty good, right? Uh, Raditz is, eh. And then these two are coming up on Easy Airs, or they need Easy Airs at this point. They're pretty much unusable. So, some of the worst banner, the discounts, I suppose, are nice as well, but this is just a straight-up skip. You guys now, you, you now know that this is probably going to be the worst 200% of the year. In fact, this is probably going to be the worst 200% that Dokkan will ever release. Because I'm sh I'm sure they know at this point that this guy was the, you know, the most worst performing, underselling Dokkan Fest. Or like, I think it's just not even Dokkan Fest, it's just Gasha unit of all time. I think this guy um, outperformed, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, outperformed the tech bearers in how bad they sold. So... Uh, yeah, definitely a skip. I mean, there's just so many weird things with his passive, so many different quirks. The only good thing about him is his, probably his leader skill. But then, like, pure Saiyans 3Q170, guess what? I'm just going to use Evolution Blue Vegeta. I don't care about Raditz. And the Saiyan Saga and travel Space Traveling Warriors and pure Saiyans and Space, Tra Space Traveling Warriors pretty much means that, like, the only 200% recipients of his own leader skill is, like, this Grade 8 Vegeta. Uh, we have, like, this Vegeta. Where's the other one? This guy. And, like, a few of the Nappers. Right, like, this Nappa. Where's the Inter Nappa? He's not here. Am I blind? Uh, okay, this guy eventually will get a 200% once he Dokkan Awakens as well. He's a free-to-play World Tournament unit. But, like, it's a, it's a really weird... It's, it's just a weird unit overall. Like, I don't... I don't understand. They gave him like the rose mechanic. The like they gave they gave him literally the worst mechanic in the game. The the buff when you deliver a final blow. Very very weird. Three hundred percent defense when facing two more enemies. Looks good on paper, but it's not. It's not good enough. And then he has like these weird stuff. Like he gets this, which is given for free to most units, but he only gets it when he's facing one enemy. And then like he gets more buffs if that enemy's HP is fifty percent or less. And it's like ugh, it, it's it's very weird. Weird design. And then I have STL Nap, who's actually pretty solid. I think he's actually better, far better than um, the Dokkan Festival Raditz. But he as well, right? He he has no starter turn defense. So all of his defense is just being derived from how high or how low his HP is. And that can be a bit of an issue if you're something if you're in like the red zone or if maybe you get tagged with a super attack early on in like extreme super battle road, and then you you rock in Nappa with like, I don't know, 200 k defense, uh, and 150k defense, 250, which is on paper, looking pretty good, considering that he also gets 50% defense on super. But, like, there's a big difference between him being at max HP and then him being at, like, 50% HP. So, uh, bear that in mind. I mean, his support as well is very weird. I don't understand why they gave him 2 key and 30% attack and defense. Pretty much every other Saiyan... I say Saiyan Saga, but every other support side of unit is giving the respective category 3 key and 40% attack and defense. So, this is, overall, this is a bit of a weird, like... 
a weird pairing, a weird celebration. I just pulled up in Kigoku because why not? Like it's, I love OG Dragon Ball, so I just pulled him up. But I, there's no reason for me to pull him up, no rhyme or reason. Uh, we then have the Saiyan Saga category summon, skip. Dragon Stones on sale, I, I don't care. Hello, I like money. Uh, we have the Mister. I can't even speak. The Mysterious Ritual Summon, uh, Elder Kai Banner. You know, I think for JP there was actually two because of the Al Goku and Piccolo, but as we already discussed, that's already happened for Global. Blazing Sunshine Pack. I mean, typically I know that the Peel Off Trove Packs are very good in value. I believe it'll probably have something like a, a Dokkan Festival ticket where you can like do like a 30 unit long multi or whatever it is, right? But uh, again, I would recommend uh, from people to just you know, stay away from uh, spending money on these gosh games. We have cold-hearted alien warrior attacks. Yeah, SSR Raditz. I mean, it's, it's, I'm sorry. I, sorry I keep going back to Raditz, but it's like, he, poor Raditz, man. Like, I'm kind of, I feel for him because it's like, he's not going to get another Dokkan Fest and now he's mid, so. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we have a new Super Battle Red stage, at this, which at this point, I think everyone has completed a power absorption. This is fairly easy, right? Even if you don't have your own AGL cell or, Bootanks just bring an age of cell as your leader. And you could probably like use the tech exchange boo. Yeah, because he does leave, uh, sorry, lead artificial life forms. Yeah, artificial life forms are margin power. So that would uh, help you out there. Um, it, it is a bit of a limited category, but you got some really good, powerful characters here, right? You got like Android 13. You got this and these two Androids, right? 18 and 19. Are you sure about sorry, that? 18 and 19. It's 19 and 20. And then you've got um, Astero Omega, as well as this guy, the EZA for the physical Omega. So again, should be fairly easy. Uh, let's close. Actually, no, we'll keep that open. Moving on, uh, there's just some um, new, I say new, but just returning story events, right? Videl's Flying Technique, the Garlic Jr. Attack story event, and then the Low Class Warrior Raditz's Pride story event. Of course, that is to coincide with this Extreme Z area. We have the Dokkan Battlefield, and then we have the Extreme Challenge campaign for Prime Battle Vegeta. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm on the fence with this unit. I think he's in his, like, max scenario. He actually looks pretty good, right? Which is, you put him in slot one, uh, he's built up a bit, so there's not really too many key issues because he doesn't have prepare for battle he's able to launch those two additionals and they both become super attacks and he launches like a you know the fourth attack in the turn which is from the hidden potential system is also a super attack and at that point if you grab the 18 key at the start he, he just essentially raises his attack and defense by 50 percent and then another 90 percent three i said three times over but another 90 percent in the turn which is pretty powerful but in practice it's it's like this is very tough sometimes to proc this is pretty big for him because he wants to be um, in slot one. Uh, because once he's in slot one, after he's received an attack, that's where he gets this, right? So um, it's weird. It's, it's very weird. Again, he doesn't have PFB, so that does hurt him as well. Uh, I don't know. He's uh, he's okay, is all I'm going to say. He's okay. He can probably put him work against Bojack. And in fact, I did take him into the Bojack stage. Uh, as long as you can like shield him in that first and second phase, he can look pretty solid in the final phase, especially because he's extreme as well. Remember, extreme class units will always take less damage in the red zone because the enemies are also extreme class, right? Um, now as for his challenge campaign, uh, to actually easy aim, you do need all of these units right here. Again, most of these are pretty easy to get. Prime Battle Krillin could be a bit difficult because he's, he, his grind is pretty bad, right? Although I believe they've now added the booster drop, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, let's see, for JP, so this was lasting for a month? Yeah, there or thereabouts. It lasted for a whole month. So you'll have a whole month from when this starts. Does it give us a date? Uh, it starts from the 15th and it ends... Okay, so this actually ends a bit earlier. Not too big. Not too big of a deal. You've still got like three weeks to get this done and it's fairly easy. Um, yeah, I suppose we can also talk about this. I'm not sure actually. Does Global have these two? It's the extremes the area for this Tarble and then the Int Gotenks. I am going to double check here on the fly. I'm not too sure. Let's uh, put in Tarble. Uh, I don't think he does, does he? No, he does not. Okay, so I presume that will be added within like the next week or so as well. I mean, I, I can't really comment on these guys too much. I haven't really used them. I've used Tarble once and he seemed pretty solid to me. He seemed fine. Um, you know, Orb Changer, I believe he's a bit of a support unit as well. Yes, he is for the siblings bond team. His dodge chance is pretty good as well. He has like a 30% chance to dodge, I believe. Yeah, chance of evading 30% when there is another two or more Vegeta family category allies on the team. And then, yeah, he gets further evasion chance with three or more keys for his attention. So, yeah, he can look pretty solid defensively. Offensively, again, there's a lot to be desired for. I'm not even going to talk about this Gotenks because I've never used him uh, in truth. So, I can't say for sure. I suppose we can quickly read his details, right? So, 50% attack and defense there. An additional 50% for five turns from the start of turn. An additional 100% attack and defense when performing a super. Launches an additional which has a medium chance of becoming a super when facing only one enemy. And then an additional 50% attack and defense when attacking if the target enemy is in the defensive down status or status. 
Um, and then he raises attack and defense 110. Yeah, it seems okay. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on him. What is his um, stats looking like? 8,000, 13,000. Uh, okay. What's Tarbles, by the way? Okay, yeah. Tarbles' defensive stat is a lot higher. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you will need these two to, uh, you know, easy a prime battle Vegeta. And then, of course, all of the events will be returning. So you can farm uh, all six of these characters. We then have, of course, the big one. Age of is easy a -ing. Um and we discussed this earlier, but like AGL Turles right now, he's very good, right? Uh, I really like what they did with his EZA. They made him a lot stronger defensively in base. I would have liked if this was a high chance to stun. They didn't change that. That's fine. Um, where he gets a real big boost, though, is his transform step. Because once he transforms, he's actually able to stack attack and defense. Now, this transformation only lasts for like, what, three turns. So like you get two appearances of this Turles. But like any stacks you are able to um, grab in this form do actually carry over to this form. So... It's like, ideally, you actually want to go into this. Because, again, he, this one is still pretty strong, right? 200% attack and defense is very strong. HP recovery. He does give it all allies three key as well, which is pretty good. He then gets an additional defense when there's a superclass enemy present. And he can also go type effective. But the problem with Turles right now is that the movie boss's team is in a bit of a weird spot. I'd also say he doesn't have the best linking partners, right? I mean, there is LR Turles, but remember, it's something like the red zone where I think, like, this guy is... It's very obvious this guy's built for the red zone, right? With how he's set up. Um, you can't get, like, Destroy of the Universe, Saiyan Warrior Race, and Prepare for Battle active as much as you'd like. And I'm not saying that Cooler would change that too much, but Cooler would provide it 200%, and then this guy is probably, like, the second best unit on that team, just because of, just because of this. Uh, sorry, not this. Uh, this right here. This is still way too powerful. And, he, and yeah, he does give that all allies extra defense as well. So it's like, imagine, imagine a team where you have this guy, you have the 200% LR Cooler, and then you have like LR Gold. Actually, is LR Golden Freezer even on movie bosses? I'm actually unsure. I don't think he is, you know? Uh, let's have a look. No, he is. Okay, thank God. Yeah. So, like, imagine a team like that. And again, we have like some of these units who eventually will be coming up on EZAs, like LR Tech Broly, L into LR Bojack. You already have an EZA. You are very likely going to EZA in this celebration. You could potentially EZA as well. Int Broly's still very good. Um, I forgot to point you out, but LR Super Jedemba. So, like, and, you know, with Turles there, he's providing the... He's pretty much the glue to that team because this is just way too valuable for a team who's consisting of, like, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, uh, the Coolers and the Freezers having their own, like, Universe and Most Malevolent, Strongest Kind of Space Link set. So uh, I think Turles could be very, very impactful for that team. And then that's pretty much it, right? We have the um, this event returning so you can farm the essay of your pre-existing Turleses. The actual... The, the Turles easy event, does it tell us the... The, the I forgot my word my word I can't I can't speak um category weakness the category bonus I can't actually remember now off the top of my head what it is let's have a look uh just so it can help you guys oh, yeah low okay low class warriors uh I, this was very simple I remember and I remember now this this was very simple I think I was just using like the super tech units there's not many but like uh, honestly like this guy and this guy put in a lot more work than anyone and then anyone else oh wait inky goku sorry I, I forgot guys inky goku is the best unit on the, the team I, I apologize he he can one shot that um agl turlo's easy event but that's pretty much it we also have Patan battle thank you guys for watching uh let me know what you guys think and again are you guys hyped for cooler and goku for worldwide um i'm still on the fence of uh, I uh, I don't know if they're worthy enough or if Cooler is worthy enough. I mean, Goku is because it's, it's a Goku, right? Super Saiyan Goku is. But Cooler, I'm not too sure if he's worthy of that extreme class Dokkan Fest LR Monica. At this point, I have also made a video talking about community reactions and stuff, whatever. I'm still in the process of like editing and rendering that, so I should get that out sometime today. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Again, skip, 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 skip. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.